Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Hope you're doing well, this is Ayapo Tricks and today I have a video for new to beginner level jailbreakers. If you're intermediate level or you really know everything about jailbreaking, nothing in this video will surprise you. Okay, let's get started. Once you jailbreak, you will see the Cydia app on your home screen. Cydia is called a package manager. It's also referred to an unauthorized app store. It enables the user to find and install software not authorized by Apple on jailbroken iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touch devices. Cydia was released in 2008 and is still being used today on jailbroken devices. There are other package managers like Cilio, Zebra, and Installer which is said to have a better UI than Cydia, but Cydia is still the most widely used and it's truly the best package manager in my opinion. Cydia has a lot of applications you can download that add modifications to the device. These are called Cydia tweaks or jailbreak tweaks. For example, I have a tweak installed called Chroma Homebar X. This tweak changes the color of the homebar. This is just a single example. You can install as many of these tweaks as you want on your device. You know you can install as many apps as you want from the app store. It's exactly like that. A lot of these tweaks make your iDevice look cooler and a lot more improved aspects of your device. Okay, so let me open Cydia and this is the home screen. There isn't much you can do on this tab, it's just the general home screen. If you tap on the second tab on the bottom, it'll take you to this screen called Sources. Some people refer to this as repos as well. The full form of a repo is a repository. A source or repository is a website which contains a bunch of your Cydia tweaks. When you install Cydia, a few sources will be added by default, for example the Big Boss repo. Let me tap on it, tap on all packages and you can see you have a lot of Cydia tweaks and themes here. If I develop a few Cydia tweaks, I will create my own source and upload those tweaks to my source. Now anyone can add this source then download and install my tweaks on their device. In many YouTube videos like the top 10 Cydia tweaks, you will see a source or repo will be mentioned with the tweak name. This is because the tweaks won't be there if you just search for it, because the default repos don't have them. You have to add an external repo for that tweak. It's very easy to add a source, so to add it, just tap on edit on the top right, then tap on add on the top left, and here type in the source link that they mention, and then tap on add source. You will see that it shows this screen, it's just basically getting all the tweaks from that source. Now the source has been added to Cydia and you can install the tweaks available in that source. Whenever you open Cydia, all the sources will automatically refresh. You can cancel it but it's highly recommended that you don't. Once everything refreshes, you will see all the updates available. This is just like apps. Apps have updates, right? And so do Cydia tweaks. They get updates because bugs get fixed, maybe new features get added, and mainly so that the tweaks support new iOS versions. This is why you should always refresh Cydia before installing a tweak. Let's say that you don't refresh Cydia for a few days, you watch a video of a tweak on YouTube and then you come to a Cydia and you install it. Maybe the version of the tweak you installed wasn't updated for your iOS version. This will cause issues. So remember, always refresh then install tweaks. This is where all your installed tweaks are located. A lot of these are essential Cydia tweaks for Cydia to run smoothly. So you should never ever delete a Cydia tweak you never manually installed as this will cause problems to your device. You have three tabs on the top. User, Expert, and Recent. What I and you should use the most is Recent. On the top, you'll see the tweaks you've recently installed. This is very important because sometimes Cydia tweaks aren't supported and sometimes Cydia tweaks conflict with other Cydia tweaks. Like for example, I have Chrome Homebar installed. If I install another Cydia tweak like to hide the homebar, both of those tweaks will obviously conflict and this may cause my uh, device to go into safe mode and stuff like that. So I'll discuss about that later. But if you ever face issues, this is where you want to come and you want to see like the recent Cydia tweaks you've installed and you can delete them right here. Finally, you have search. Here you can search for any tweak you want. So for example, let me search for a tweak called Cylinder Reborn. It's a popular Cydia tweak which adds cool animations to your home screen paging effect. You can see it appears when I search for it. I can just tap on it and here I'll get all the information on the tweak, including the version number, the description, and screenshots if available. It's very very similar to the App Store. One very important thing is that you should always check if this tweak supports your iOS version. In the description, it says it supports iOS 11 to iOS 14. So I can install this Cydia tweak without worrying about anything. But sometimes, tweaks say that they only support an old version, but they still do support a newer version. 
you shouldn't install them unless you know for a fact that that tweak does support newer versions as well. Anyways, to install it, just tap on install. Here you have three options. Cancel if you want to cancel it obviously. Confirm if you want to install the CD tweak immediately and continue queuing. Continue queuing lets you install, upgrade or delete multiple CD tweaks at the same time. So let me just tap on continue queuing. I can go and do the same process that I just did to other tweaks I want to install. And after choosing all of the tweaks that I want to install, delete or upgrade, you can see I have a queue badge here. I can just go to it, tap on queue to view my queue and I can tap on confirm and you'll see it starts installing. After the tweaks finish installing, I have to restart my springboard. This is not a full reboot, it's called a respring and it's very common in jailbreaking. It only takes a few seconds, so let me tap on it and you can see it respring's and I'm back to my lock screen now. If I swipe through my pages, you'll see this cool effect. I can even go to settings, cylinder and change the animation style or disable the tweak and things like that. To delete a tweak, open Cydia and wait for it to refresh. And sometimes you will get a notification like this, meaning Cydia has very important updates. This only rarely appears and when it does, you never want to skip this. So tap on complete upgrade. I obviously don't have any updates, but in case I did, I would have tapped on continue queuing. Then let me go into installed, recent and tap on cylinder. Tap on modify, remove and you'll see uninstalling cylinder is added to the queue. Now I can tap on confirm and restart the springboard. Now if I swipe between the pages on my home screen, there is no effect. This is because cylinder is deleted. If you install a bad CD tweak, your device will respring into safe mode. In this mode, none of your tweaks will be active and your wallpaper will be gray. Only Cydia will open. This mode happens to protect you or protect your device from these bad Cydia tweaks and this is actually a great feature of Cydia. So open Cydia and uninstall the most recent tweak you installed and everything should be good to go. If you install a really really bad Cydia tweak, sometimes your phone will just break and that's why you should always confirm a tweak works on your iOS version before installing it. Don't be scared, it rarely happens and even if it does, there are multiple ways to delete them. Please note that Cydia also has a few paid Cydia tweaks. They will be blue in color but most of them are free so you don't have to worry about that. I also have like a top 120 free Cydia tweaks video for iOS 14 so do check that video out and you will see what all you can do to customize your device and make your device much better. You can choose whichever ones that you like and you can install them. Anyways that's it for this video. I hope you learned how to use Cydia if you were a beginner. If you have any questions, do comment them down below. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe. I'll have a lot of links in the description like how to jailbreak your device, top CH weeks videos and more. So do check that out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.